He's our old friend, the Canadian gangster himself, Olivier Aubin Mercier. There he is. OAM. Salut. Comment ça va? Ça va très bien, et vous? Oui, ça va bien. But Ariel, there, wa there won't be any other uh, Canadian fighter. This is the last gen generation. I'm What? Telling you. Why? Because uh, the government is oh, stopped us from training. <laughs> <laughs> This is it? Nobody's training MMA anymore. In Quebec, I'm, I'm not sure MMA is illegal. Think about that. There, there's going to be nobody. Every amateur in Quebec have to move, have to go to Ontario, have to go to the U.S. They have to pay a thousand bucks to fight amateur. It makes no sense. Makes yep. no sense. There's going to be no next generation fighter in Quebec. That's horrible. Why? Why? Why did they change the rules? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's because there was kind of a war in between two uh, amateur show. And each amateur show was calling the police officer on the other show. So uh, everybody said, okay, that's it. No more amateur show. Uh, so right now in Quebec, it's not accepted to do an amateur show. It's not accepted to do uh, jujitsu, uh, like a tournament, a jujitsu tournament. Louise. It's not accepted in Quebec. Wow. Yeah, bro. Like, I don't know how we're going to do it. Anyway, in Quebec, probably in the rest of Canada, there was going to be other fighters. But here, To be a father in Quebec, it's it's a pain in the ass, especially uh, the last two years. Yeah, know? I know, especially the last year. So how has it been for you training the last two years? I know you had to quarantine and do all that stuff last year. Luckily, you don't have to do that this time. But, uh, you know, the gym and all that, have you been able to properly train mm -hmm. for this fight? Uh, for this one, yeah, for sure. Okay, no problem? Yeah, yeah no, everything was open. Uh, it's been... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say <laughs> to well, yeah, I think everything was open even with Omicron. Yeah, yeah. If it was not open or not supposed to be open, it was not open. So got it. Uh, got it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I understand. But yeah, I train I train um uh it was a, one of the best uh, training uh, camp I, I had for the last two years. I mean the last two fights I did in PFL was the like it was such a weird vibe to uh to get in the gym like a villain you know yeah a little bit like uh, with the, <laughs> in the back so it's it was a uh, it was something else but at the same time i i finally felt like a gangster this time so it was it was that's fun right. it was fun for two years that's right i mean you call yourself the canadian gangster you might as well act like one about time yeah exactly yeah uh, did you ever consider leaving just going to move to the united states and training there where there were you know the rules were a little more relaxed Bro, I would have been uh, gone for a long time if I didn't have a daughter. Uh, uh, I have a daughter here in Canada, so uh, no way I was going to uh, to move. But uh, I trained like uh, maybe for one month in um, in Puerto Rico. Uh, I actually trained with uh, <laughs> uh, Roger Ver in uh, Antigua. Wow, uh, Roger Ver is there. Uh, it's like a big crypto, uh, a big crypto guy who's doing um, who's doing jujitsu. And uh, since it was illegal to do jiu-jitsu at that point uh, where he was, he, he decided to fly uh, some guy from Montreal. We took a private jet, went to an, the, the, the island of Antigua. We trained with him for a month. Uh, it was really fun. It was like kind of a, like a dream. Wow. Um, and, and I know you're big into the, the crypto stuff, the Bitcoin stuff. In, in fact, your last, you can have one sponsor, right? Um, in PFL on mm -hmm. your shirt and, and you put... I will admit to you, Olivier, I know nothing of this stuff, but so, so please, you know, pardon me if I sound stupid, but I guess there's like, um, what is that, that code thing? What, what am I, the QR, the QR code. code. Yeah. QR code. Yeah. So my last two fights, I had a QR code on my, my shirt. So people could, uh, they, they were able to, to send me some Bitcoin if they were happy with my performance. Uh, and I actually like, um, I think I made like 6,000 bucks with uh, wow. with that. With uh, Not bad. Yeah, so it was really, yeah, it was really good. And at that point, Bitcoin, I think, was at 30, 30K. So uh, it got the, it got up, uh, of course. Uh, but yeah, it really worked. And actually, uh, now uh, freaking UFC took the idea. <laughs> Did they really? Oh, with their thing, with their no, like I, uh, the... The yeah. fan thing. Yes, 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 yes. Well, yeah. of course, they take everyone's they, idea. They kind of did, but not really like... Uh, Like my 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 thing was like really I had like a a career code. So if people people were 
would have bet on me or something, and they were happy with their, my performance. They were they were able to send me some uh, some uh, some tip, uh, and yeah, I was really uh, happy uh, how it worked. And uh, I mean, like I said, six thousand is 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 it's pretty good money, uh, especially at that point. I mean, at that point, it was really hard to get sponsor, right? Uh, because again, everything, and. Um, uh, yeah, I was really happy. But for the for this fight, I won't have it. I will have um, actually one of my friend. Uh, maybe you know him. He's from Montreal. Mike Ward. He's a a, a, a comic. Uh, you have a big. Oh yes, yes, yes. Him. I know him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or of him. The one who was in court. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. So he's sponsoring you. Yeah, he's sponsoring me. He's sponsoring my front and my back. Wow. And. Uh, yeah, we we trying to uh, to make his logo pass though. I hope that PFL is gonna accept. So it's basically a, a logo of him getting his face pushed towards my uh, my uh, my odd balls. Okay. So <laughs> let, let's hope it it work. Um, but yeah, he was really happy to to pay for the sponsor just for a good joke. Now, wh- why don't you just keep the QR code? And like post it on your social media and, and people could still give you tips that way. Yeah, exactly. So that's the plan. I'm going to put it on my uh, social okay. media instead of my uh, my it. shirt because uh, to be honest, the, <laughs> the QR code on my shirt didn't work. So anyway, it was uh, not really uh, oh. uh, working. So it was working when it was on my, uh, my social media. Got it. And so it was more to advertise the QR code. So now that people kind of know, I'm gonna just put it on my uh, social media, and if anybody is a uh, is a uh, is willing, they can tip me for my next fight. Now you had two fights in PFL, right? Uh, this after leaving the UFC, uh, you were actually supposed to fight Natan Schultz, but the fight fell through. Um, overall, you went two and zero, oh, so good start. Were you happy with the experience? Happy with PFL? How they treated you? Obviously, they're a newer organization. How would you describe the experience so far in the uh, the first two fights? Yeah, the team is really great. I, I really like uh, PFL. Um, it was such a blast to uh, to fight for them. There is some. Um, uh, it's. I mean, it's a it's a hard uh, uh, organization to be in because you have to fight a lot in a really small amount of time. So, other than that, I think it was really good. I may have a little bit. Um, I, I I was a little bit mad at them actually in the in the beginning. Oh. I, I will be honest. Tell us. Tell us. Uh, because I, I don't know if you remember, but I hurt myself yeah. uh, for the first fight. And uh, actually, when I hurt myself, I told them, oh, maybe like um, the doctor don't want me to fight the day of the um, of the event, but two weeks after it would be good. Uh, so if you, wa- you want to just uh, put me two weeks after, I-, I would be able to fight and... Uh, and everything, but and they say you know no you know what no because every event there is a a, a weight division, uh, so it's it won't be possible. And I was like oh you know what like uh, I mean it it's fair uh, the rule are for uh, everybody. But then the second fight, <laughs> Pitis didn't make his weight and he, he got was, moved right. two weeks after. I was like what the heck is that? Yeah. What the heck is that? <laughs> so I think that's the only thing I have to sub. Uh, um, anything bad for a PFL, but other than that, everything was great. I mean, the show was great. I had so much fun with the the crew over there, uh, and I mean, the uh, the show was fun. Everything was fun about that. Uh, it was more a little family. Uh, I really liked the vibe there. After leaving the UFC, was it hard to find the next spot? Like, did you feel you know, like the? There was a time where people were saying you're going to be the next GSP, and there was a lot of pressure put on your shoulders. Did you want to keep going? Did you need to take a break? How did you uh, How did you feel in those months afterwards? Uh, I mean, it was tough. Uh, that's for sure. I, I knew I still got it, uh, but it was really tough. And I, then, I mean, I got signed by PFL. I did an interview with you. I was in um, in Costa Rica at that time. Yeah. And then a week after. Uh, uh, COVID happened, so it was a it was a tough two years. Um, I mean, I was I was what thirty one at that point, thirty at that point. So uh, you kind of see the the um, the times going uh, it, it starting to pass, and um, 
I mean, I, I always been open about that, but I, I'm not sure I want to fight until uh, 37, 38. Uh, I think at 35, I, I'm going to be gone, you know? Wow. Uh, so I was seeing the, the time uh, passing. I was a little bit scared. I got I got hurt, like I said. Uh, my, in my last fight, I was kind of thinking, oh, maybe I'm getting old, you know? Um, but... Yeah, I mean, for sure, you have to think about those things. You don't want to be the the fighters that's gonna do like the one two, one one fight too much, you know, yeah. or fight for a <laughs> bare knuckle fighting or something like this. <laughs> you don't want to do that. No <laughs> You're not a bare knuckle guy. Uh, what's that? You're not a bare knuckle guy. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Not yet. Maybe. Right. Maybe uh, after 35. That's right. And what would you do? Like, what do you think you'll do after 35? You're still so young. Uh, I really don't know. Uh, a lot of people are asking me that, that question. Um, I, I know a lot of people in Montreal want me to do some TV or uh, stuff like that. Um, and to be honest, I don't know. I, I never fa found anything that uh, made me happy like MMA, you know. So it's a, uh, it's 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 a hard. I think it's gonna be a hard, uh, a hard end of a career, you know. I think I'm gonna have a hard time, um, but I, I'm gonna have to do it, and uh, I have to 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 find a new passion. Do you have regrets about the end of your UFC run? Um, do I have regrets? Not really. I mean. Uh, I fought uh, Gilbert Burns. I mean, I fought uh, uh, Armand uh, Tsarukian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So two really, really hard fights. Um, I mean, I do think yeah, I could have won some of those fights. Uh, I do think I did some mistakes during those fights. But uh, no, I have no regrets. I, I mean, I, I'm proud of what I, what I did. Um, yeah. You know, we still have we still represent you over here. You know this, right? Right over here. Oh shit! You have my uh, fanny pack. I still got it, Olivia. We haven't forgotten about you. Oh, my I still God. got it. I still got it. You you don't rock this anymore, though. I don't see you rocking it. <laughs> no, I don't. Come no. on! This is one of the best things that the Reebok deal ever produced. They gave you the shirt. <laughs> you had the mustache. I mean, look at this. Look at this thing right here. I mean, this was amazing. The Canadian Gangster. You had your own custom shirt. They got behind you big yeah. time, right? Yeah, Reebok was. <laughs> it was pretty funny, actually. The because I remember during the, the, the Reebok time, um, I think they had some trouble with uh, with everything, with the yes, uh, yes. UFC, you know? Yes. And um, one of the, I think they changed kind of uh, who was in charge of the Reebok deal. Yeah. And the guy who was in charge, like, saw my, my stuff and he was like, Dude, that, that's too funny not to do something uh, about that, you know? So... It's actually that guy who did the like uh, the the design and everything. Like it was, it was pretty funny because it, it was poorly draw. Uh, like it was yeah, yeah, yeah. look like like some kids did it, you know. But it was good because it was the style of it. And actually, we did like, a video. I don't know if you re remember. Uh, there was a video about the fanny pack. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. with the big orange. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this video I did. I did it. 100 percent so i i well i produce it yeah. I, I i did everything you know i i even like um i was uh, working in multimedia before so uh <laughs> I, I i did everything with that video so he, they were really really happy and i remember that you you said it was a, a slam dunk so i was really happy uh, about that yeah I'm really proud of this no you, you you've done a great job of promoting yourself of sticking out and I think you're a great addition to the PFL. And uh, why can't you win the million dollars? What do you think? I mean, this would be life-changing stuff, right? In addition to your purse, you go win a million dollars this year with this tournament. Now, their 55 division is a pretty solid one, arguably their best. Hmm. But what, what's... Uh, I think it's the best. Though. Yeah, I would say it's their best as well. What do you think the uh, the chances are? How's your confidence going into this? Uh, I'm pretty confident. I really think that uh, last year I would have won the, the tournament. Um uh, like I said, unfortunately, I, I got hurt in the first fight, and how it it's working in the in PFL. If if you are hurt, uh, they uh, they took a one point for you, so I was not able to do the tournament. Yeah. 
Um, so uh, I do think I, sh I could have won the last year, but I think this year is going to be tough, but I think it's uh, it's really possible. I think I have a tough matchup against Nathan Schultz, yeah. uh, but still I'm really confident, you know? Uh, you like the format? You like the season thing and the points and all that? It's a little different. It's their own thing. How do you feel about it as as someone who's been a part of the uh, the old school formats of MMA, so to speak? Oh, uh, like for I think for an athlete, it's not the best. Mm. Uh, like like I said, like I I think last year's uh, I got a little bit played, <laughs> but I think for uh, people watching the the show, it's really good. I mean, it's. It's fun, you know, it, 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 there's a lot of plot twists in, in that kind of stuff. So I think for the viewer, it's really, really good. For the athlete, uh, for the athlete I think it's a little bit harder. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I do like it. I think it's um, it's a lot different to fight in PFL than in the UFC. I think you have to be smarter to fight in PFL. Uh, no disrespect, but uh, it's uh, it's different. You know, I think you have to do the first camp of, your, of PFL to be a hard one mm. and the other one to be a smart one. You know, I, I know I, I sound a little bit like GSP right now, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that's the way to go. I love it. By the way, do you live in Montreal or do you live outside of Montreal? I live in Montreal. Yeah. Okay. Have you been to the julep lately? No, no, no I mean, no, Come I'm on. trying to lose weight. I get it. Like, uh, I, uh, what about Joe beef? I'm watching food porn right now and I'm sad. <laughs> what about Joe beef? Is it open? Yeah, Joe Beef is open right now. It's yeah. open, okay. Everything's open, right? Everything yeah, so I have this list of uh, restaurants I'm going to do after my fight. What's number one? Uh, what's number one? I, I really like Beba these days. So uh, Beba, it's like in Verdun. Okay. So uh, What kind yeah, of food? So I'm looking to go, to go there. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to Euro Europea too. Okay. But maybe not for the good reason. <laughs> <laughs> have you been to uh so I'm looking forward to that. Have you been to Notre Boeuf de Grasse? No, I think you should uh, send it send it uh, the, the name to me and uh, yeah. go there for sure. That's my friend's restaurant. Uh, great great burgers. They have an NDG and a bunch of other places. Oh. Yeah. I love hamburgers and I didn't eat a hamburger for two uh, for two months. So yeah, I would be willing to do that to go there. I had a whole thing with a guy, Kevin Owens. You know Kevin Owens, the wrestler? He's no. Oh, there's a famous wrestler from uh, Marieville uh, in Quebec uh, named Kevin Owens. Kevin Steen. Like WWE? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. WWE. He's big. Yeah. He's very famous. And he went to the restaurant. We had a whole thing. But now we've squashed the beef. So it's, I don't, I don't, you don't know, need to get into it and everything. But uh, anyway, you should go check it out. And uh, when you do, I'll, you know, um, GSP likes it very much. He goes there all the time. Oh, for real? Yeah. Well, are you sure? Because never talked about that. Well, we're very close, GSP and I. So may, you know, maybe we're not. Maybe you're not as close to him as I am to him. You know what I mean? <laughs> maybe, yeah. <laughs> um, well, great to catch up with you, Olivier. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, April twentieth in Arlington, Texas. I was just there in Arlington for WrestleMania. I saw the arena that you're competing in. It's a very nice arena, the esports arena over there. So uh, it's a great little part of the uh, the town over there in Arlington. So good luck to you. Big fight against Natan Schultz. I wish you the best, and I hope you get that million dollars, my friend. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Eh? Great to talk to you. And by the way, I noticed you didn't text me back when I texted you last night. No hard feelings, but, you know, it seems like you've changed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Thank you, Olivier. Ciao. Bye-bye. There he is, Olivier Aubert-Mercier, uh, former UFC fighter, uh, there was a lot of buzz, a lot of um, a lot of high hopes.